What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. And as you guys know, CarX has now updated with VR. So I'm gonna walk you guys through connecting your VR headset. First things first, you're gonna plug in your lightning cable into your desktop and it's the blue port. If you don't have one, that's fine. Make sure you plug it into the headset, of course. And once that is all connected, you're gonna go ahead and switch over to your computer. Now on your computer, you're gonna wanna download the Oculus software. So make sure everything is connected and the drivers are updated if you haven't played it in a while. It's gonna be completely necessary because sometimes it will not work without an update. So the next thing you're gonna do is in the Oculus, you're gonna to go to your quick settings and click on Quest Link. Once you do that, it's gonna bring the pop-up for the headset, but this is what I was saying earlier. You don't necessarily need the cord, but it just needs to recognize. So once it's recognized and you launch it and connect it, it's gonna bring up Rift. Once you're in this, the Quest Link room, do not go to virtual desktop like you do in other games, just stay there and put the headset off to the side. Next thing you're gonna do is jump into Steam and click on the game. And when you click, uh, click play, you're gonna have three options there. Don't worry about Steam VR, it's pretty horrible on that. Now you can launch the game on the headset and it's gonna start up right away. Um, this is how the menu looks, doesn't look too great. Don't worry about it because while you're in the game, it looks perfectly fine. So if it doesn't work that way and you just load up the game regularly, all you have to do is click VR mode. Make sure everything that was in the video prior to this is all up to date and plugged in and it's gonna swap you over quickly with no issue. And like I said, um, the menus look a little weird, but don't worry about it. The only downfall to all of this is that while you're in VR, you have to use your keyboard to navigate. You can't use a mouse or the controllers. Once you join a room, it switches to the screen like that and you are all set. Very simple, very easy. This is how the game looks on the Oculus itself on the right side of the screen. And as you can see here, everything looks really high detail and way better than the regular screen that I'm casting to. But uh, you can also move your position with the camera settings and you can reset the driver as well. So that all helps make things look very realistic and your seat position is pretty key when it comes to racing games. But that's it guys, it's very simple. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll catch up with y'all on the next one. Peace.